yeah, this is my last video tonight. I'm going to make it kind of snappy, but if I was in charge in rulership, trust and believe, I'd give black people a lot more chances and opportunity, give them income, give them money if I was president. If I was the one in power, I had the uh, authority and the ability to do and uh, place executive action and take a, a proper course of action, every black person, no matter what walk in life, what uh, economic status, you would get a ton of money from me. The hard, typical hard-working black uh, African-American, which they are, I mean, they're African-Americans, that's not a negative thing. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing, Africa is beautiful, people from Africa are beautiful. The country, or continent of Africa is beautiful. I support Africa 110% and people originated from there but uh, all in all bottom period just long story short I would just you know uh, give them way uh, I'd make them happy let's put it that way with uh physical possessions, material possessions, and make them happy because they deserve it. They've been oppressed, treated like slaves for too long, been maltreated, been um, under the gutter, been disenfranchised, uh, been ill-mannerly uh, treated for too fucking long. It's time we stand up. It's time I stand up. It's time I put the... Uh, hammer on the table and slam it and say hey pe pe black people are beautiful and so are white people but guess what I have more uh, courtesy and respect for black people than I do white people white people are can be pretty but they help too and they contribute to a lot of things but we're undermining the black people too uh, too much and discrediting um, they given us a lot in art, entertainment, sports, science, math, history, education, uh, ra uh, standing up for what's right, like Martin Luther King, and we got a leadership, and we got to be leaders, we got to lead with our mind. Do the right thing. Consider me for president. I'm not a scholar. I'm not a college uh, graduate. But I'm a fucking common sense, a little bit learning, uh, challenge person with some great ideas. I promise if you uh, take the pledge and consider me for president, I'll vastly improve things on a massive scale. I'm not going to resort to violence in our military against our people, which is bullshit. I'm not going to set no curfews. I'm not going to close states down. I'm not going to shut businesses down. I'm not going to declare a state of emergency over a fucking invisible virus that's made up. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to do that shit. I'm not going to scare people out of their pants and, ment and psychologically give them psychological warfare. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to stay true to my game and give the people that have the have-nots I'm going to cater to them. I'm going to give the people that haven't experienced luxury luxury. I'm going to give it to them. People sleeping in blankets, people that are homeless, people that are hungry. I'm going to give food, and I'm going to give a mansion. I'm going to give them a big house. They could take care of their own house, their own lawn. People deserve to be happy. I don't care what walk of life, what race, what religion, who your parents are. I don't give a flying fuck or two shits. People deserve to be happy because 
Life is tough enough. And it sucks. And we got to ease it on the people that have it the worst and the hardest. And that's the fucking bottom line. I'm not saying people should get free shit. The people should get treated better. And get more stuff, you know, that they're not accustomed to make people happy. Because happiness is the only thing that matters. And what people think of you, you know, it also matters. But it's not as much as being happy. <coughs> me personally, I think I'd be happy if I had a girlfriend. That's just me. I think I'd be happy if I had a girlfriend. If I had someone to hang on to and cuddle and hug and kiss and make out and make love to, I'd be a lot happier. If I had a 24, 25 year old chick to have fun with, I'd be happier. But maybe, maybe I'll get there one day. I don't know. Until next time, see you later. Cheers. Cheers to um, King Cobra. You seem kind of cool, but uh, I don't know. I gotta watch some. I gotta save this, man. This, man, this is a big. Ugh, I just ate like that much of it, and still this much left. It was like three ounces of this jerky. God damn. What do they say from the Best Buy August of 2021 Savage? Man. This stuff is good. It's, uh, it doesn't say uh, what uh, how to store it in the refrigerator. I don't know. Oops. Man, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, seven minutes. I thought it was close to ten minutes, but uh, yeah, I'm working in a warehouse, but uh, getting some exercise, lifting some stuff. Got to work early. I work full time. Put in forty hours a week optional on the weekends on Saturdays but uh, just separates the boys from the men too many chiefs not enough Indians alright one more little thing here yeah man that's some good sausage right there boy I'll tell you mm, pretty decent matcha man oh, yeah something. You know, it's crazy. Uh, God damn it. I spent like 27 bucks on my supper. Supper behind me. I got ribs. Macaroni and cheese still in the box. Been good, been hanging out with you guys. I'm about to upload this two videos tonight, Friday night, I'm out on the family night. Muscle up, stay uh, true to the game, stay up, uh, be strong, stay strong. Shit sucks, but gotta keep on keeping on, baby. You gotta keep on trucking. It's where it's at, you know. Yeah, it is SSDD, same shit, different day, but you just got to keep on keeping on until something happens, until something better comes up. Maybe you'll win the lottery, maybe you'll get married, maybe you'll find the woman, the girl of your dreams, you never know. Me, I like him young, I like him 18, even 17, up to 50 or 60 years old, I don't give a shit. Hell, give me a 23, fresh 24 year old college girl, I'd be happy as hell. Cheers, blessings, and see you guys later.